Yeah! What's happening with you, YouTube? Shout out to the Pack Addicts. What is packing? We are back. It's your man, KH TV. King Howie. I'm um, here on a Victory Monday. And let's get into this shit. Green Bay Packers beat the Seattle Shithawks at home in Lambeau. Uh, shout out to Anthony Davis. Shout out to Lil Wayne, who were in attendance at the game. Um, now, let's get into this shit. Now let's get into this shit. Um, great game by uh, Aaron Jones, who scored two touchdowns. Great game by Devontae Adams. Good game by Aaron Rodgers. Good game by Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith for getting after uh, Russell Wilson, who I told y'all was going to... That man... Now, Russell Wilson, that's a bad man. <laughs> Russell Wilson, man, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, Russell Wilson. I mean, you played a hell of a game out there, man. You basically put the team on your back, man. You put the team on your back. Now you understand the weight that that's been put on your shoulders just like Aaron Rodgers had the weight of the team on his shoulders and he had to carry them he had to carry them shout out to Russell Wilson man he played a hell of a game man um, shout out to Jair Alexander even though he got scored on on that little corner uh, corner touchdown pass from Russell Wilson shout out to Kevin King who, had a, who played a hell of a game shout out to Blake Martinez for really taking the responsibilities of uh, containing Marshawn Lynch, even though he did score two goal line runs, which was part of the NFL narrative for the Seattle Seahawks, you know, could, uh, don't throw on the goal line. And basically that's been the whole, they whole story <laughs> since they hit the playoffs. Matter of fact, since the last game of the season, when they brought Marshawn Lynch back, uh, when they brought Marshawn, Marshawn Lynch back, uh, against the 49ers you know that's been they whole they whole thing um the narrative with uh i think with aaron Rodgers is uh winning playoff games you know what i'm saying i think this whole this season is really tied into uh him really make uh getting through through the playoff games and the nfc west teams because that's who majority of uh, Aaron Rodgers' playoff losses come from NFC West teams. Oh, and the Falcons and the, and the yeah, Arizona, the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> Arizona Cardinals beat us in the playoffs. 49ers beat us in the playoffs. Seattle Seahawks beat us in the playoffs. So I think that's the whole narrative right now with Aaron Rodgers is getting through the playoffs against two of the uh, NFC, NFC NFC West teams that have been, you know, beating him for quite some time now. Um, but this game it was a good game, man. It was a game of perseverance, a game of, re of being resilient. And that's been the whole uh, trademark of his team is being resilient, finding other ways to win, you know, finding different ways to win. Um, it's, it's the little things and that that's what you know I think brings out the best quality in Matt LaFleur as, as far as being a head coach is that his, his uh his attention to the small things that we have to get done in order to win as you've seen today I mean last night we look great on third down yeah you, you know I, I understand we played against you know a, a, a banged up a banged up uh Seattle Seahawks team, you know, Jadavion Clowney was banged up. Um, I think one of their linebackers had a torn ACL. Their offensive lineman, Dwayne Brown, came back to play. Um, they lost a tight end. You know, just a, just a lot of things, you know, injuries injuries plaguing his team. Same thing Aaron Rodgers had to go through when he had to uh, put the team and the weight of the, the, the team on his shoulders. So, um, Shout out to the Packers. You know, they did their job. Now, let me address, let me address, let me address these Cowboy fans, Mark Holmes and uh, Sean from uh, Sports Fury. Ever since Mike McCarthy has been signed 
to the Cowboys. Y'all have been running y'all mouth about Aaron Rodgers. Oh, he's a diva. He's he's not a good team player. <laughs> he's not a good team player. Uh, teammates don't like him. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a lot of people that's not well liked. There's probably some people that don't like Dak Prescott. There's probably some people that don't like Ezekiel Elliott. You know what I'm saying? Worry about what's going on with y'all team. Why? I understand why y'all mad. Why y'all saying the stuff about Aaron Rodgers? Because he keep whooping y'all ass. He keep beating the shit out of the Cowboys. Matter of fact, the last time we played y'all, he didn't even have to do nothing. He's tired of beating y'all. He said, "Aaron Jones, you go ahead. I'm gonna let the other Aaron. I'm gonna let the other Aaron show y'all how to, how we can win this game. I don't y'all don't even need this Aaron. I'll let the other Aaron go ahead and beat on y'all." Man, y'all just need to be quiet, sit on the couch, and watch the Packers work, man. That's all y'all need to do, Cowboy fans. Mark Holmes and, and jo Josh and Sean from the Sports Free. I understand why Josh is mad because the, the Bears suck, and they, they, they stuck with Mitchell. Tr I can't never say that. Sorry, ass. I'm going to just call him Mitch the Bitch from here on out. You just mad because Mitch the Bitch is stuck with y'all for one more year, and y'all got to deal with his mediocrity. Y'all overpaid for Khalil Mack. He ain't did nothing for y'all yet. Sean, you got to go ahead and deal with Dak Prescott. <laughs> Been dealing with Jason Garrett. Now you got to deal with Mike McCarthy. We'll see how the, we'll see how this Cowboy season turn around. Like I said, man, I congratulated you Cowboy fans on hiring Mike McCarthy. And now y'all finna really see why. Aaron Rodgers was pissed off at Mike McCarthy. Y'all finna get that 2006 playbook. Mike McCarthy already lied to y'all. He already lied to the fan base. He already lied to Jerry Jones. Talking about, yeah, I watched all of the, I watched all of the, I watched every Cowboy game. No, he didn't. He didn't watch it. McCarthy was at home getting back massages, just waiting on Jerry Jones to take the bait. So we gonna see, man. I hope y'all make it to the playoffs next year because we, we will be there waiting on y'all. So that's what y'all need to do, Cowboy fans. Get out of that 8-8 eight eight syndrome. Get out of the 8-8 eight eight hate. And try to make it to the playoffs so y'all can face us. And then we'll really see. We'll really we'll really see if Mike McCarthy was going to pay off for y'all. Here y'all go again. Here y'all go again, Cowboy fans, being prisoners of the damn moment. Here y'all go again. Y'all get Mike McCarthy. Oh, we're going to the Super Bowl. Mark Holmes frolicking all around on lie being all giddy <laughs> nipples all hard all turned on by mark mccarthy man sit your old gray beard having ass down bro i got gray in my beard too i shouldn't even be talking about you mark i got gray in my beard too man but you understand what i'm saying and sean we man we we we, we know why you hate aaron Rodgers because your team can't beat him we know why you hate Aaron Rodgers, because he make y'all look silly. And it just eats at your soul. It eats at your heart. It eats at your spirit, Cowboy fans. And now y'all got Mike McCarthy over there, which I think, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, it's a complete slap in the face. If you can't beat them, join them. We'll see what Green Bay South got to do. We'll see what Green Bay South is going to be made of next year. Y'all got y'all got a running back. Y'all supposedly have a damn quarterback. We already know. Oh shit. We already know. Once that shit show start <laughs> start stinking, we already know Jerry Jones gonna come down there and, and take the clipboard and the headset and turn Mike McCarthy into coach clap too. So stop the hating. Stop the hating on Aaron Rodgers. Y'all don't y'all just going by hearsay from media and, and, and articles being it, being uh published and you know, I know y'all supporting everything that Skip Bayless say about Aaron Rodgers. It's just funny. Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless said some 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 fucked up shit about Aaron Rodgers this past week. And I see that y'all saw that show and that segment when um they was making a picks of who was gonna win the game. And we already knew Skip Bayless was gonna pick against uh pick against the Packers and run with uh run with uh Russell Wilson. And what did y'all do? Monkey see, monkey do. Y'all just follow suit. Oh, I hate Aaron Rodgers. I hate that guy. Like, you know, how you gonna hate a, how you hate somebody you don't even know? 
You ain't even know. I'm pretty sure if Aaron Rodgers was to walk in front of Mark Holmes and Sean and Josh, man, y'all be trying to get his autograph, man. Y'all be trying to get his damn autograph. So don't sit up here and, 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 and speak ill, ill of somebody y'all don't even know nothing of. Y'all just going by what other people saying. That's just like I say something about, you know, a particular person and that person that I tell at his little bits and pieces to the story I told him and then so on and so forth so forth so you know y'all can say whatever you want but say whatever you want from the couch because that's where y'all at right now y'all can do all the talking y'all want from the couch to to stop the couch coaching stop that stop stop the the the, the um the the couch hate y'all sitting at home in the playoffs I understand man I know how you feel I, I understand how you feel but other than that, man, it's Victory Monday. It's a vibe going on right now. And the Green Bay Packers are moving on to go play the 49ers in San Francisco. So with that being said, man, it's your man, King Howie. Uh, shout out to uh, the Pack Addict. Shout out to Pac-Man, JKDG, um, the realest cheese head. Brian, I'm going to holler at you in the, uh, in the messenger group and shit. Um, about this game. Uh, I want to know uh, if you want to do a video together. So uh, hit me up, man. And until then, in the meantime, in between time, man, keep it green and go. Go Pack. Go.